Today, let's create a casual capsule wardrobe example for the dramatic Kibby type. My goal for this series is not to provide the perfect capsule wardrobe for a specific body type, but to show a few concepts, items, and style elements that you can adopt that will harmonize with your body type. Like I've said in all of my Kibby capsule wardrobe videos, I want to break out of the common Kibby stereotypes and show you how you can really own your personal style while still incorporating items and outfit combinations that honor your body. Body type. If you're not sure what your kibby body type is, I'll leave links to tons of great resources in the description box. And I welcome you to leave any questions you might have in the comments so that I know exactly what you want to learn next. Before we jump into a description of the dramatic body type, I would just like to say that everything I'm presenting here is my own interpretation of David Kibbe's work and may not always align with his own intentions for the system. I'll always encourage you to check out the Strictly Kibbe Facebook group if you wanna learn more straight from the source. And if you're new here or if you've been watching my videos for some time now and you haven't subscribed yet, my channel is all about learning everything you need to know to develop your own personal style and create your perfect wardrobe. From using color to understanding your body type to creating outfits that really work, I promise you'll have at least one aha moment that will help you along your wardrobe journey. Okay, now let's get into an introduction of the dramatic woman. All of the Kibbe body types are described primarily by their unique mix of yin or feminine traits and yang or masculine traits. The dramatic woman embodies pure yang in Kibbe's system, but that doesn't mean that she isn't feminine. Her slim, elongated bone structure is noble, regal, and elegant. Her dominant descriptors are sharp and elongated. She has a long vertical line, narrow bone structure, angular frame, and thin bones. She tends to have a smaller bust, and her hips are balanced in proportion to her shoulders. She has a sharp nose and jaw, clearly defined cheekbones, and often narrow eyes and lips. Some great examples of dramatic women are Maggie Smith, Olivia Culpo, and Leah Cabetta. Keywords for the dramatic include sharp, elongated, narrow, tall, angular, noble, graceful, geometric, tailored, and defined. So now that we know a little bit more about the dramatic body type, let's talk about the color palette for this capsule wardrobe. In Kibbe's Metamorphosis, he talks about color recommendations for each of the body types. However, I disagree that color type is explicitly tied to body type. It's true that lighter, more muted colors will create a softer and more romantic effect, while deeper or more saturated colors will create a sharper or more dramatic effect. However, you will look best in the colors that share the most qualities with your natural coloring. If you're interested in learning more about how to create your perfect color palette, check out this playlist when you're done watching this video. For this capsule, let's create a cool and bright winter color palette. I'm gonna start with a royal purple, bright berry, and cool red as the core colors for this capsule. For accent colors, let's choose icy pink and sky blue. And for neutrals, white, gray, and black. Now that we have our color palette, let's put together our casual, dramatic capsule wardrobe for the spring season. Just as I've done in my previous videos, I'm gonna show you some examples of dramatic outfits that don't necessarily follow all of the Kibbe rules. But let's start by talking about a few pieces that are very harmonious with the dramatic body type. A column dress is a great wardrobe staple for the dramatic body type. This black column dress from Susanna Monaco is super comfortable while looking extremely elegant and stylish. The long length and block color accentuate the dramatic's long vertical line. This dress also features a low back, which is extremely flattering on the dramatic body type. For tops, another great basic is a tank or top with a square neckline. The geometric shape is harmonious with the dramatic's angular frame, while also highlighting her slender waist. Choose a tank with thicker straps to create a more blended and harmonious look, or choose thin straps if you'd like your frame to appear sharper and stronger. For bottoms, a long and slightly boot-cut pant is a great staple for both casual and formal attire. On dramatics, a boot-cut pant creates a long and slender effect while maintaining some balance with a slight volume at the bottom of the pant. These black ones from Patrizia Pepe are a great option. 
In fact, I think Patrizia Pepe is an amazing brand for dramatics in general. When it comes to jackets, of course the dramatic looks amazing in a sharp tailored blazer. However, I think that a great trend piece that actually looks very classic on the dramatic is a leather trench coat in a simple design. This one is perfect with its simple silhouette, sharp shoulder line, and knee to midi length. Although leather trenches are a trend right now, they're a classic statement piece that will last a lifetime in a slightly edgy capsule wardrobe. Now let's put together the rest of the capsule. In addition to the square neck tank, let's add a basic high neck tank top, an icy pink racer back, a black tube top, and a purple v-neck tank. All of these will look great on their own or as layering pieces for those cooler spring days. A blue striped shirt is another spring and summer staple, and let's add a purple shirt as well to amplify our color palette. This berry colored blouse is another great option that can be dressed up or down. The safari style pocket is a detail that I love for naturals, but it also works well for dramatics due to the large geometric effect. And finally, a sleeveless satin turtleneck is a cool statement piece for dressier occasions. For bottoms, a geometric pencil skirt is another staple for the dramatic type if it suits your personal style and lifestyle. It's perfect for workwear, but can also be dressed up in the evening or worn casually with a t-shirt or tank top and sandals. Let's also add a pair of white, slightly baggy straight leg jeans. The taper at the ankle helps to keep these harmonious with the dramatic type, even though they have a more relaxed overall feel. And a pair of purple straight leg jeans is a fun addition. However, a pair of straight leg jeans in any color from our color palette would work wonderfully. Since the dramatic type is often recommended suits and menswear, which can be very discouraging and impractical for some dramatics, I wanted to include a variety of dress options for this capsule. In addition to the column dress, a sleeveless sundress in a block color and with a relatively slender skirt is another lovely option. The ruffle detail at the hem is minimal and kept away from the face so it doesn't create too much contrast with the dramatic's regal elegance. A midi length halter dress is another great option. The asymmetric hem is great for the dramatic and the print is bold, large, and somewhat geometric which harmonizes better with the dramatic than a small round floral print might. And finally, this shirt dress is a perfect example of a short dress for the dramatic type. While short dresses aren't typically recommended for the dramatic body type, the sharp shoulder line and geometric stripe pattern help to bring some sharpness and narrowness into the garment. The sharp ruching at the hips is also a great way to add some shape to a dramatic silhouette without adding volume. And again, the ruffle detail is limited to the bottom half of the dress, which helps to limit the appearance of contradiction between romantic elements and the dramatic's more angular frame. For jackets and layering pieces, let's add a leather jacket with a sharp collar detail, a denim vest with geometric stitching details, a double-breasted black blazer, an angular gray blazer, and finally this sheer pink overshirt. The sheerness and light coloring of this overshirt may appear to be in slight contrast with the dramatic's body type and essence, which makes it a fun style element for adding visual interest. It can be used to make edgy looks appear even more dramatic by contrast, or it can be used to create an ethereal effect when paired with more feminine pieces or lighter colors. Now let's choose some shoes. I've had a few comments asking for more shoe options in my capsule wardrobes, so this time I decided to go all out and choose six pairs of shoes. First, a pair of black pointed toe ankle boots are a staple in almost every capsule wardrobe. For the dramatic, a pointed toe shoe is certainly best. Next, let's add a casual pair of white Birkenstocks. The narrow Arizona style is likely best for the dramatic body type. A casual pair of white sneakers with geometric elements are also another great basic, as is this pair of gray ballet flats from Repetto. From what I can tell, Repetto is another great brand for dramatics in general. And for heels, a pair of pointed toe pumps is an absolute classic, and this pair of beaded sandals will be perfect for any spring outing. For accessories, I chose two bags, a rectangular bag with a chain shoulder strap and a nylon crossbody strap is a versatile and practical option. And this geometric white bag is a great statement bag and can also be worn in two ways, over the shoulder or as a clutch. The final capsule includes nine tops, four bottoms, four dresses, six jackets, 
six shoes, and two bags for 31 items that can create at least 84 interchangeable outfits. this video and I hope it inspires you to learn more about your Kibi body type. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Kibi body typing system. Do you know your type and have you found the system to be useful in your own wardrobe? As usual, all of the items featured in this video can be found in the description box below, as well as some great resources if you're interested in diving deeper into Kibi, color palettes, or capsule wardrobes. If you genuinely like this video or found it useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more personal style and capsule wardrobe videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.